Alrighty, okay, so let's try this again. This is the Gambit, um, I Steal, You Smash. Let me find the author real quick. Uh, from Rika Maru. So, I Steal, You Smash, Gambit Allies. So, I'm going to talk about the deck here in a second. We're going to be playing against Expert Sabertooth. Um, I do need a mod set, so if anyone has a mod set that is not fantasy, because I'm mad at, or not, not fantasy, not western, because I'm mad at western right now. Uh, so we're redoing a game. I, I won't post the other game just because it was, you know, rules error and everything, but, um, it was an expert king. It was, I would have been probably fine if I had taken it into account, but I just missed that western gives overkill like the, so if we have a mod set, let me know. Also, Angus, thanks for watching. Hope you, all right, see you around. Okay, so let's talk about the deck. So the entire deck is about utilizing Remy's ability to thwart an alter ego and then using all the alter ego stuff that um, the mutants have and then running just a gambit of allies. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was dumb. So the idea is to get allies out there and then use our danger room. Where do I put danger room? Right there. Danger room in order to... Give them attack trainings. X-Mansions can heal them if they want. I was doing a lot of healing of myself last game, but I do... Um, I think that was just kind of not necessary, but I was taking a lot of attacks. But we can just be healing all of our allies so they can just get multiple, multiple activations every single time. Utopia can ready either myself or the allies up based on what's going. Sci-Fi? I like Sci-Fi. Let's do Sci-Fi. Okay, so we'll do sci-fi. Um, and then we just have... It's a fun deck. I, I really enjoyed the deck. Uh, sci-fi is dope. It really is. Um, symbiote can be... A, oh, I'm sorry. I missed. I totally missed that. The symbiote one. Let's do both of them. Why not? I mean, like, why not do both of them, right? Let's go symbiote... Or symbiotic string. Yeah, let's do both of them. It's going to force us out of our alter ego because they have the swinging assaults, which is going to force us to switch into hero form. So we'll just we'll just run both of them. I don't know why. Let's just do both of them. It's fun. Okay. So, yeah, just get allies out. We'll grab an honorary X-Men to be able to play all the X-Men stuff as well as ready ourselves with Utopia once we are down um weapon x we actually never played but that can go grab you creole charmers which helps with the confuse i mean there's just so much stuff now in Sabretooth, i think will be a fairly decent tech against this because he does have the attachment that gives him stalwart so we do need to just kind of keep that in mind so if we flip into the stalwart uh attachment we'll have to come up and get rid of that because the entire thing is you know keeping him confused so let's get stalked by Sabretooth. Put the find the senator side scheme into play. Attach Robert Kelly to it? Well, attach to Robert Kelly. Robert Kelly is in play, but under no player's control. After resolving step one of the villain phase, deal two damage to Kelly or three damage if there's six threat here. While it's attached to the find the senator, treat his text box as if you're blank. Sabretooth starts at 15 health, which does not seem like a lot, but he heals a lot and it's really annoying. Do we have nine health? Sweet. He has toughness. So after he activates, we have to discard the top card of the deck, and then we get to heal Flawless. Ooh, sorry. Okay, uh, you're going for Flawless Victory. Zero damage on Kelly. Uh, maybe? We'll try it. We'll try it. The, the problem is, is there are treachery cards that just deal damage to Kelly. So... It's like that that would that would be really unfortunate. But yeah, we'll try it. We'll try we'll try the flawless without the treachery cards. And there are ways to mitigate that. You can go Black Widow Ally, you can go um Spycraft type stuff. No, he's a thief, not a spy. But there are ways to mitigate those treachery cards, but I'm not gonna mess with uh Rikamaru's deck in order to do that. But we will try. We'll try the flawless victory. Let's see how we can do. Uh, it kind of all depends on what we draw as this first boost card <laughs> for this Thief Extraordinaire. Um, I guess we could all, you know, we're looking for Professor X then.
Yeah, we're looking for X. Which would really help. So two, four, six. It's close to impossible. Don't think you've ever done it. We've got Rogue, Weapon X, Creel Charmer, uh, and Sunfire. So we'll keep uh, Molecular Acceleration and Creel Charmer. We'll toss a Rogue. We'll toss a Charge card. We'll toss a Sunfire. We'll hang on to a Weapon X. So we'll draw three cards. Mutant Education. Okay. Mutant Education. Okay. Magic. Okay. So, let's go ahead and use our ability. We'll discard a zero. Nope. We are not going for the flawless victory. <laughs> um, okay. So, this if this activation is an attack, it gets plus two. So, we remove zero threat. That's a bummer. Um... <laughs> that that got kiboshed pretty quickly. We'll go we'll play mutant education. Actually, hold on. No, we'll do this. We'll do a molecular acceleration and a mutant education to play uh magic. Then we will play a mutant education to shuffle Molecular Acceleration and Rogue back in. We get a Charge Counter. <laughs> Just completely whiff on that. That's so, that's pretty funny. Uh, we'll use a Creel Charmer to play Weapon X. Magic will knock the tough. Nah, magic will thwart one here. Stand up. Staff, long shot, molecular acceleration, charge card, that's four, X, nice, five, and natural agility. We will add one. Sabretooth is going to scheme for two. If this activation is an attack, it gains plus two and overkill. So two, that's going to be three. And we're going to throw some damage on Kelly. Got two there. Our encounter card is Medical Emergency. Heal two damage from Robert Kelly. So actually, I guess we could still do it. We could still do the, uh, we could still do it. So that comes in with four. That's <laughs> okay. That's kind of funny. Um, nice. And an acceleration token. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Let's go Molecular Acceleration and a Natural Agility to play Professor X. Uh, we will Confuse Sabretooth. Molecular Acceleration gives us one here. We will use our Thief Extraordinaire ability. Uh, so we got a one and a two. We'll give the boost card as a one. We'll remove two threats from medical emergency. Uh, we will flip up to hero form. We will go ahead and grab a counter. X is going to thwart three. Magic is going to thwart to get this. So we get Robert Kelly. And then this comes in. Robert Kelly cannot be healed by player card effects and cannot have upgrades attached. After your hero defends against an attack from Sabretooth, spend two resources of any type, ready your hero. And this progresses. Yeah, it's close to impossible. Uh, is there a next evolution scenario playable at Gen Con? Yes, there is. Yeah, we're playing the first scenario. And so I, I'm doing that on Thursday, and I plan on doing a video about it as well. Do each player a... F oh, sad. Caught off guard. Okay. That's fine. Win completed. Defeat Robert Kelly. Uh, we'll toss a long shot for a Gambit Steph. 
which will be my caught off guard target. <laughs> and that'll be that. We'll toss a charge card. We'll stand up. Bringing home your, your own deck. Yeah, so you bring your own deck. And you... Um, yeah, you, you bring your own deck. Okay, so we will draw... Oh, and Kelly has two damage. We've got a charge card. Strength. Utopia, nice. X-Gene. Molecular Acceleration. Alrighty. Place two. Oh, wait, no, this has two now. You still need to try the community campaigns. They look really cool. They look really, really cool. But yeah, no, I haven't tried them either. Um, okay, so Sabretooth is going to attack us. We'll have X block, so it's going to be two. You, you are stunned. You're already stunned. Take two damage. Also, he heals. I think one other card should be milled, but here we are. Okay, this first one. Oh, wait, we're going to use Gambit's staff. Knock off the tough. Nice. First one is caught off guard. I had already kind of put in my mind that I no longer had the Gambit's staff. <laughs> that is not the true. And the second one is an assault. So Saber 2 is going to attack us. We'll block magic. So two, exhaust a character you control. Exhaust Robert Kelly. Um... That's going to be enough for magic. Then he's going to heal for... It doesn't matter. It is now our turn. We will go ahead and get one of these. Molecular Acceleration will play Utopia. That will give me a fifth counter. Does he activate? Yeah, yeah. He always you always discard a card, which I will never remember to do. <laughs> uh, we'll flip down. We'll thief extraordinaire. We've got two and two. Uh, master plan or violent tendencies. So the attacked villain takes any amount of damage from attack. Give them one face on boost card. If they dealt three or more damage, discard this card. We'll take violent tendencies. Uh, we'll remove two here. That has victory. But that heals two from Kelly. Actually, we'll take Master Plan. Because if we can get another healing card, that, that helps us with our perfect that we're going for. Uh, charge card, we'll play X-Gene. And we'll stand up. Keep strength. Colossus, nice. Psylocke, even better. Royal Flush. Eh. Mansion, the best there is. And I got one more card. Forge. Honestly, I made... No, Mansion is so good. Uh, we'll add two. He's confused. Master Plan, we'll discard until we get a side scheme. Medical emergency, perfect. Actually, we only added one. So that's exactly what we wanted. So now we have the acceleration token, which we can probably deal with. But we have an on-call heal too. So if we're going for that perfect game, we can now take some damage on Robert Kelly through the treachery cards. I don't think I'll ever have Kelly be dealt damage. But now the medical emergency uh, can heal Kelly. Sweet. I'm happy about that. Uh, we'll go with Strength, Royal Flush, and Colossus to play Mansion. Mansion will draw us into a Angel. Uh, let's go Weapon X. Take one damage. Discard cards until you discard an identity-specific card. The Guild Armor, perfect. Nice. That's awesome. Um,
let's go ahead and does he activate the healing either way it's going to be a boost yeah if marvel champions was an xbox game this would definitely be an achievement <laughs> yeah yeah achievement unlocked um okay Okay. I can drop Angel or I can drop Forge. If I drop Forge, I go... Yeah, I'm going to go Angel and Gambit's Guild Armor to play Forge. We'll go ahead and grab the X-Mansion. We can't play it yet. Actually, first. First. Before I do that, I'm going to do this. I'm going to... 3 or 0. And this will be his boost card. So we'll take Under Fire... We'll move three from here. So now we'll add two. Forge comes into play. We'll stand up. We have X Mansion and Psylocke in our hand. We'll keep those, Utopia. Um, I probably should have attacked. No, I stand in Alter Ego. I was talking about Gambit. It's ability choice. The first card of the villain phase is always a boot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes. Or it could be dealt to you if you're about to deck out. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and do this again. We got an advance and we got an improvised weapons. We'll take this down to one. An advance is going to be our boost card. We're going to hang on to both Psylocke and X Mansion. Um, forge. No, no point in attacking. Uh, we'll take one here. Because if we attack, he's just going to heal it right back. So <laughs> uh, let's stand up. Give me a double. Honorary X-Men probably means we'll flip up. Ooh, that works. Power on all of us works. That's four. Danger room, five. And attack training, sweet. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We'll add two. Sabretooth will scheme for two. Holy cow, this is a long run. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm gonna I wanna play a lot of Marvel Champions before I go to Gen Con. Uh I wish TTS had a way to ding fake achievements. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. <laughs> uh then he heals. Then our encounter card is an assault, which is gonna surge into Saber Two Strikes. Deal one damage to Robert Kelly. You can exhaust your hero to prevent this. One damage to Robert Kelly. One more of those, and we can heal with Medical Emergency. I should be ready. Sweet. Alrighty. Um, Power in All of Us is going to play X Mansion. Let's go ahead and draw, actually. Royal Flush. Alrighty. One day without Marvel Champions may make him rusty. <laughs> I like Remy's Alter Ego card art. Yeah. Also, here, let me find Rogue because they, they pair. So this is like, yeah, it's it's one picture. So I I, always, I thought that was really cool. Um, play a lot of MC before you go to Gen Con to play more Marvel Champions. Exactly. <laughs> so it's like a suit for the wedding day. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, let's go. Weapon X. We'll take a damage. Discard until we get rogue. Beautiful. It's so pretty. It's so so pretty. Ah, yes. 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 Um, alrighty. Let's go. Mansion will heal me one, I guess. We will use our ability to thwart. So, I guess we'll do that one. I'll take one. We will flip up to Gambit. We get one. Play Rogue for free. She comes in with toughness. Rogue is one of the best allies in the game, I think. Utopia will trigger. I will go ahead and just remove the stun. Honorary X-Men will give me one. 
Wait, here's an idea. Using strength and numbers to exhaust Robert Kelly to draw a card. Yep, yep. Uh, Yeah, yeah. Strength and numbers are banned together. Yeah, that's. I like that idea a lot. That's really cool. We use a Royal Flush and a Attack Training to play a Danger Room. I think I probably messed that up somehow. I'm going to hang on to the Psylocke. Um, I'll have Rogue Fort 2 here. Knock off the tough. I'll stand up. Hang on to Psylocke. Draw into Cerebro. Beautiful. Thieves Guild. Wolverine. Genius. Nice. Okay. Place two. Sabretooth is going to attack. We will block with Forge. It's enough to kill. He heals. Still haven't touched Sabretooth, but that's how Sabretooth games go. Then we got a Blob 3.14. Blob Pie. You cannot take more than two damage from each attack. Annoying. That's fine. All right, we'll mansion to draw into a power in all of us. Mm. Buffering, buffering, buffering. 10 out of 10 flavored. <laughs> that, is, that is great. That is great. Um, get one here. We'll flip down. We'll use our ability. Got a three and a three. This is going to be our encounter card. Two, four, five. We're actually going to toss. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll keep Feral Rage. Um, we'll remove three here. Yeah. We will use a Genius. Power in all of us and a Wolverine, which hurts to do. Actually, hold on. Let's check in Mutant Education. We saw both of those in our mulligan. Yeah, that's right. So we use those four to play a Psylocke. Triggering Danger Room to go find Attack Training and throw it on Psylocke. There's got to be a nickname for playing honorary card on yourself. It's like a dic dictator general bestowing honors. Hear ye, hear ye. Uh, Utopia will trigger and ready. We're at nine health. We're almost full health. Um, we'll use Thieves Guild to play Cerebro. It's easier to get Thieves Guild back than it is to get Cerebro back. Mansion will... Oh, Rogue will go ahead and throw two damage here. Mansion will heal Rogue, right? Might as well. One of those, why do you need to make yourself an honor? You're already... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, We'll heal one. Psylocke will go ahead and deal one, two, three damage to Sabretooth. One, two, three, and confuse him. So Feral Rage, when defeated, Sabretooth attacks the player, even if the player is an alter ego. I'm fine with that, actually. That's fine. Um, okay, let's stand up. We need a damage here. A two, four, five. That gets dealt to us as a encounter card. I like this deck. I think this is a really fun deck. And once it gets set up, it just sings. So two, four, five, six. There's Creole Charmer. That's nice. Okay. We'll add two. Sabretooth is confused. Blab adds one. Hey, Creole Charmer perfected. 
We've got a Feral Rage, which comes in with four. Once it's defeated, he will attack. Sabretooth will attack me. And we've got Adamantium Claws. Uh, he gains Piercing. Hero action to spend one of each resource to discard it. Which is, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine with that. Mansion will draw us into a Molecular Acceleration. Sick. This is the I Steal You Smash. Yep. Yep. It is. It is. It's really fun. <laughs> uh, let's go Molecular Acceleration and two attack trainings to play Long Shot. Uh, we get a charge counter. I did the same thing. Before we do that, hold on. Uh, let's do, let's do rogue. No, let's just do this. We'll thwart. We got one and two. We'll take two off of feral rage. Then we will play long shot, which will trigger Utopia. Stand me up. Danger room will trigger to pull an attack training. Oh my goodness. Robert Kelly turns Utopia off because he is a ally, but he's not an honorary X-Men. That's really funny. Okay. So I am locked to three ally slots, which is fine. Uh, we'll go energy for a Creole Charmer to remove this, which will confuse Sabretooth. Uh, oh, and then Longshot. Oh, I see. I get, I get what Longshot's doing in this deck. Long shot you can set to have a boost so that long shot can always trigger his uh, ability because after he attacks a non elite minion, discard the top card of the encounter deck. And then if it has a star icon, you can defeat it, but you can set it with Remy. That's cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's do this again. Let's go check and see. Okay, we'll remove three from Feral Rage. So the douchebag senator makes Utopia dystopia? Yeah, no. <laughs> Sabretooth attacks the player who uh, defeated the scheme, even if that player is an alter ego form. So he's going to attack for four. Honestly, I think we're going to take the damage. No, we can't because Robert Kelly. We'll block with Rogue. Get her in the reach. Oh, well, no. Mutant Education can shuffle her back in. Then he's going to heal for two. And we get an acceleration token. Stupid blob. Dumb question. So Inspiring Presence cannot feed Robert Kelly. It doesn't ready him, though. Uh, I think so. Yeah. The way that I read it, yes. Let's go ahead and have long shot attack for three here. We'll discard. It does not have a boost. Oh, it's more than two damage. Oops. We'll have expansion heal here. And I healed me, not the villain. Perfect. We got natural agility, which we will toss. Is there anything that we want to weapon X? Like we could Cerebro weapon X and play an ally. That's not a bad idea. Uh, that's interesting. Um, okay. Let's uh, Cerebro. We get to search our entire deck because we have a Psionic character. We're going to grab... 
Do we have any more X-Men supports that we need to play? No, we don't. I guess I could have thought about grabbing... Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. Uh, We'll grab Angel. I have so many deck ideas for here what I could do with the Robert Kelly Alley. <laughs> I, that's awesome. That's so much fun. <laughs> okay. We will weapon X. Take a damage. Discard. Gambit's Guild Armor. Perfect. And we'll use Gambit's Guild Armor, Natural Agility, to play Angel. Angel will attack and kill this guy. Like, how about using Hangar Bay to let Robert Kelly defend the attack, then readying him? <laughs> Take that. <laughs> I like that one a lot. That's fun. Let's stand up. We'll draw Molecular Acceleration, Creole Charmer, Thieves Guild, Wolverine. Yes. Natural Agility, two, four, five. Royal Flush. This game, this this deck is dirty. This deck is dirty. Uh, throw three on the main. Sabretooth is confused. Then we've got a Master Plan. Throw four here. How about using Ready for Action to give Robert Kelly a tough status card? I think that actually works. Yeah, I think that works. Alrighty, on our turn, Mansion will draw us a card. Royal Flush. Um, we've got... Molecular Acceleration to play Creole Charmer. We'll remove three threat here and confuse. Um, let's go ahead and use our ability. Got two gang up surges attached after the villain takes any amount of damage from an attack. Give him one face down boost card. Go ahead and remove. Oh, wait, no, we'll get gang up. We'll remove two. We'll royal flush for the thieves guild. Um, did I want to do that? Did I want to do that? So, yeah, we'll weapon X. Card for Colossus, Magic, create our charge card. Take a damage for that. And then we will Cerebro. Probably should have Cerebroed first. But we got Sunfire. We're good. We've got Angel going to go ahead and deal two damage to the villain. Then we will use these four to play Wolverine on top of Angel. Triggering Danger Room to go find an attack training for Wolverine. It's a dirty deck. Wolverine will then swing for four against Sabretooth. One, two, three, four. Uh, Utopia will trigger and ready me. Forgot about that. Uh, we'll go ahead and X Mansion to heal Wolverine. And then we'll use our ability again. Got Gang Up and uh, Sabretooth Strikes. Deal one damage to Robert Kelly. You can exhaust your hero to prevent that. I mean, we'll just not take any. Gang up's going to be our encounter card, which is going to surge. So we're a little bit... We're, we're not 100% sure what's going to happen there, which is fine. Uh, I guess, like, Psylocke could thwart here. No, that's crazy. Psylocke's going to attack. She's just not going to use her interrupt. We'll attack with long shot. One, two, three. This deck is really good. <laughs> I, I'm having a lot of fun with this deck. Stand everyone up. Draw into a genius. Gambit staff. Charge card. 
Forge is four. Immune Education, five. Professor X, nice. Two, four, six. We're going to add three. Confuse, Surge into Enraged Symbiote, Guard and Patrol. Sweet. And it is now our turn. Let's, uh... Robert Kelly is really annoying for Utopia. <laughs> Mansion will draw us a card into his strength. We'll take out the symbiote. Uh, Psylocke will go ahead and use her ability. So she'll deal three damage and confuse. So he comes in. He's a 2-3. Retaliate 1, which is not great for allies, but that's fine. And toughness. And 18 health. Wolverine needed to heal that. And tough, but that's not going to last for long. Wolverine will attack for 4 piercing. 1, 2, 3, 4. He takes 3 damage. And Sabertooth is confused. Um, let's go Mutant Education to shuffle Royal Flush and Royal Flush back in. We can just hang on to him and kill him next turn, I think. He only has 14 health. Uh, then we have two, four, six cards. We're going to hang on to a couple. We will go ahead and trigger and draw. It's another mutant education. That uh, Yeah, we'll do that. Mutant education for a... I guess a rogue... And a, probably just a rogue would be my guess. That's all we really need, right? Okay. We we'll use charge card to play Gambit Staff. We could go get rogue right now with Cerebro actually um so let's let's do this let's set our we'll remove three pyro is going to be our card we'll remove three from here I think there's like a bazillion things on the table. <laughs> I blink and there's like a bazillion. Yeah. Um, and what we're trying to do here is we should be fine actually doing this. Uh, when Pyro attacks you, take uh, two indirect damage. We should be fine to go into. He will be confused. Pyro is going to come out. Then we can blitz. And probably win. Actually, absolutely win. So let's go ahead and toss Forge and X. Mansion will heal Wolverine. And we will stay right there. Stand up. Because we got two, four. Got one extra card here. 
Uh, but all we need is the Royal Flushes. We did not get the Royal Flush, but we have a way to get it because we have Weapon X. We also have Mansion. So let's go ahead and stand everyone up. Yeah, we got two, four, six. Uh, we will add three threat here. So this takes us up to six. We're confused. Pyro comes out. It is our turn. We heal one from Wolverine. Mansion draws us a card into Royal Flush, which is lethal, I think. It should be lethal. But we will... Yeah, we'll use our ability here. We've got three and one. We'll take three. So we'll remove this. Medical emergency clears, actually goes to victory. And we're going to heal from Robert Kelly. We will... Attack for... Two, one, two. It's gonna knock Psylocke out. Greetings and salutation. Hey, Fade Knight, how's it going? We will then play Rogue. No. Next, we're going to attack with Wolverine for four. One, two, three, four. He takes three damage, so he goes up to four damage. We'll play Rogue. He comes in with Tough. Trigger Danger Room. To grab attack training. Utopia will ready Wolverine. We're going to count this damage because this is slightly dumb. Um, heal from Wolverine, I guess. Cerebro will take a look at the last... It's a power in all of us. We don't need it. Um... He's at 8. We'll flip up to Gambit. I'm trying to figure out how I can maximize this because we are kind of just. Oh. Uh, Thieves Guild triggers. When I remove the last threat, he gets to draw that. This is a encounter card now. Okay, so we got. He's at eight. Wolverine does four. <laughs> it's like, it's annoying enough. I can't get a clean eight damage. <laughs> Which is just funny. Um, not too bad. Had a late night due to certain modular board games, so I just woke up. Well, good morning. Um, oh, and then while we were down here, we'll have weapon decks. That will help. If you take a damage, we get natural agility. Oh, take one. Okay. Then, yeah, yeah. So all that works. Uh, we'll grab one here. It, it's so fun. I don't know why I care so much. I just want to try and maximize this to the fullest potential um so we have nine three six nine yes yeah, so we're good there um go four seven i think the best way to do it is go strength and x gene for a royal flush we'll remove three we'll get a discount of one so we'll remove two and deal three six nine to saber tooth we will take a retaliate and then we will start counting up. So that's game. But now we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Um, power on all of us, power on all of us for charge card. We'll use 3 um, to deal 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then we've got a genius and a natural agility for a royal flush for nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what was he at? He was at 11 or so? 
So, like, that's 37 damage in the last turn. Setting an alarm to make sure you're up tomorrow morning. Nice. <laughs> nice. That was insane. That was crazy. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. There you go. There, There's a clean game with the... Hopefully clean game, I assume. With the... Uh, I still... I steal you smash. I steal you smash. It's a good deck. It's a very good deck. Um, I'm surprised that the, I actually didn't realize this only has two likes. I'm, I, I like this deck. I like this deck. Cool. Well, thank you all so very much for hanging out. That was a long stream, but I will be back in the morning. We're going to be playing some Final Girl, and I will look for a post. It'll probably be on the board game channel. I'll probably link it on the cards channel. It's kind of new. Yeah, yeah, it's 16 hours, so yeah, it's pretty new. Um, really cool stuff, though. I like just being able to maintain Gambit and Alter Ego, and then, yeah, it's it's cool stuff. But yeah, oh, and the clean victory. So we, we did get through without Robert Kelly having any damage. So that's cool. I think soon will people will start liking it more. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, so check out and look for the final girl poll. We'll, I'll post that here soon, but thank you all so much. Which final girl? Oh, uh, so what we're going to be doing is I got a couple unopened, um, feature film boxes and I'm going to post a poll and whatever gets the most votes is what we will open together on stream and then play our first round of. So cool. Awesome. Thanks all so much for hanging out. See you around. Hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.